Welcome back. That Wadhuf Cliff railway station being transposed from now to then. It was done by this fella, this bloke here, a good mate of mine, John Irwin. He does all my CGI work. Now that's a posh name for computer graphic imagery. Have I got that right, John? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. I know he's expert on doing these transformations then and now. This film concentrates on two areas of Barnsley, Woosborough, Wordsborough and Stairfoot and their history using old photos and archive film. To start the film, I wanted to explore this. This is a mystery, a pit I never knew about. In my own village, in my own backyard this pit, Martin's Main, they call it. I was born here, but I never knew about this bit. So I've been down to the Woodsboro Bridge Miners Welfare to see two locals, two local lads, two briggers as they're called. Well, here I am at uh, Woodsboro Bridge Miners Welfare in my own backyard, and I've got these two lovely lads on the left here, Alan Littlewood. I also know his dad, Derek, well-known cricketer, well-known of a man at Pete. And my old mate here, Robin uh, Woodall, cheek as we all know him. Thanks for coming, lads. It's, I, I do appreciate it. Now then, I'm just showing them this pit down here, Martin's Main. Cheek, I never knew that it existed. I mean, I, I was out at, like you, out at Village Missen. I, I can't believe it, you know, this, this pit here. Look at it, you know. Yeah, that's, uh, it's interesting that, you know, David, because I didn't even know... There were a bit there till 1973 when I saw them filling it in after the Lofthouse uh, disaster. Oh, wow. They filled it in in 1973. I watched them do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They got down to the shaft. The shaft were uh, all brick lined. What it? Yeah. And uh, they went and put uh, railway uh, railway lines across yeah, yeah. about 12 foot down mm. and then filled it in from there. On that map, as you see, uh, Alan, it's smack where that wheel, that that wheel, if, yeah. if you look at that drone shot, it's smack where it was. It, it's fascinating, isn't it? Where did you get that from, Dave, that? Uh, well, it, by accident, I got it from uh, a bloke off market, Chris Sharp, who used to do the thing. And as you can see, first bit's in black and white, and then it goes into colour. Uh, I'm very lucky I get help from all of the yeah. show. A lad called Kevin Osborne, he's a Darfield councillor, he coloured it. And what's interesting, what's it back on, on it? That, uh, oh, is that uh, St Thomas's Church? Yeah, exactly. I thought it was like when uh, I looked at it, it. Ah, yeah. Ah, well, we actually tried to find space. We do a film from, but it's impossible. If you look, uh, where we set, it's roughly where we set now. But I think ground uh, must have been a bit higher in them days. Well, obviously, it might have been monk's mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the pit opened in uh, 1872. And as you can see, 1892, this map, it's gone. But what's fascinating, Dick, in mining terms, uh, there were an upcast shaft and a downcast shaft, upcast shaft, before electric, there was a thing called, it was what were called a cupola, cupola shaft or furnace. Oh, never so, heard of that, there. Yeah, that's learned so much every day. Ah, uh, well, but across there, look, what's it called? This furnace yard, isn't it? Furnace it? yard. Ah. But on 1892 map, and I've looked at 1842, there's no shaft. It's unbelievable, you know. Uh, Bellens, is there a Bellens somewhere around here? Bell Ings. Oh, Bell Ings, ah, Bell... that's it. Ah, I can remember that name now. Well, that's, that's, that's behind this, this kitchen company, or oh, Grimes' really? garages, yeah. when we were lads. But it's fascinating, it's only like, what, 50, 60 yards between shafts. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously, like, the work Barnsley Bed Seam, which were uh, roughly. Uh, I've had Paul Darlow, a lad called Paul Darlow on, on case. He, uh, he's he's NUM historian at Barnsley, and he, we reckon that 
Barnsley Bed, it was nine That's foot what they thick prime coal. But as I say, it closed. It closed early due to due to all fatalities. Right, Chief, where's that? That's down Red Lion's new well. Red Lion as it is now. Used to be Button Mill at one bit. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, they changed it back to Red Lion a couple of years ago. Now that is a coloured photo on Red Lion. And I don't know what date, but look, you can see stables at back. And that woman's dressed in Victorian Edwardian clothes. I don't know. I love what John's done. He's done this car enhancement. He's put a wooden car. But if you look, at uh, them stables has gone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and to the right hand side I pulled that way at uh, outside toilets well. Now that's 1959. I've just got his job left of course. Yeah. And it, it's not changed one bit, has he? Now then. Oh that ship in the bottom over the ridge. Yeah, we modern day cars in front. Have any idea when that was built then, Dave? Cheap? I don't know. I don't know. Now that's the tram, of course, coming down, thing down to uh, Cutting Edge. Uh, I can tell you more. Tram lines opened in 1902, 1930 to close, and that's a map on tram lines. Uh, as you can see, Doddeth and Lock Park, well, it, it never got built. Oh, I see. Yeah, they, used to have an they wanted an extension. That's a Barnsley tram, it says Elden Street on it. Just look at staff, how many weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, tram depot were, it, it were tracky sheds, what we used to call tracky sheds. Now then, where's that cheap? That's the uh, cop shop down was the ridge. Yeah. Uh, it looks as though it's 1960s, that photo. That's going to be when Cheyenne were here. Ah. Uh, old, old Sergeant Bobby. Now look, how he, how he interlaces it with modern day. Oh yeah, that's where it uh, has the. Mm. Now then. Well, this is Wyatt's Bakery, the old Wyatt's Bakery shop. Just, and, what, what gets me is all of the kids playing play yeah, up tram lines. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I used to live, a little bit further up at number five. Yeah, yeah. Now then. That's taken from Kingwell. But just look at cricket field, uh, football field, wall. Into colour we go, into colour. Look. Look, look at that wall, out. It, it, it's obviously being filled in. I look at it hundred years in all industry on top of hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got that picture now, Dave. That's that used to be a tip. Yeah, oh, did it? Oh, Definitely yeah. a tip. Now, where's that cheap? That looks like River Dove. It now, is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at railway wagons on left here. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you call white wall. White wall. When mm. we were on that uh, motorbike years and uh, years ago. Yeah. Oh, it's marvellous how he does it, isn't he? Uh, John's a whisked. Now then. Oh, it was my Dale, Darley. Yeah. Back to my Clarkson Street. Yeah. Must be post office across, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. 
That's that's the, that's Axel Tram Terminus at uh, bottom of Dale. That's where they turned that. It was called a pantograph. That that reel. And it used to be. Look at it now. Yeah. Look, look. That red reel in it. Down Mason's Hand it used to be. Ah well, that's coming up. Coming up. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. Again, Darley, look. That's again, Darley. Again, I'll have a look at kids on street, on tram lines, playing on tram. I said that, going down Dale now, you can't park. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mason's, got to McDale. Call East, East Street. It's actually Thicket, Alan. Thicket, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thicky, yeah. Not Thicket. Now nah, then, where's that? That's that Poddle Oil, isn't it? Boatman's Rest. Boatman's Rest. And I'm going to educate you. Why is it called Poddle? No idea, Dave. It's when barges used to go under bridge, paddling or poddling. It used to poddle it past. Oh, so yeah. we call it the Pod, the Pod Oil. Ah. Poddle Oil. And that's of course up here Woodsboro Hall. It's now it's not a building site now actually. It used to be NCB headquarters, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number five area. John, this is Duffcliffe Station. It is, yeah. And it closed in 1953. Uh, it's a, it's a wonderful it's a wonderful thing. Um, history on it. Uh, station was originally named Smithley for Darley, Maine, and Woodsbury. Smithley, isn't that a f funny name? <laughs> Posh name. But it was changed in 1855 to Darkcliffe, and then in 1860 to Duffcliffe. But what's interesting is that signal box, which you can see it's on it's on top of station roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there were no room apparently. Yes. I think it used to be like a single line when it was first built in anyhow. Uh, I've seen some information where they, they couldn't either fit it where they wanted it to go. So yeah. they plonked it on top of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got here a nice little film uh, in, in 1960s, uh, a train coming from Barra. Barnsley lay at the heart of the South Yorkshire coal fields, and on leaving Barrow Colliery, the coal working joins the former Great Central Railway's Sheffield to Barnsley line. I've got some, now then, I've got some lovely archive film, which I got from, uh, I've had it years. It's not on internet, this lot, but it's a beautiful uh, film in bits on, on trains going up that Wasbury Bank, up and down it. The Wasbury Incline, at 1 in 40, once saw the LNER's only garret on banking duties. The Wurzburgh branch was built specifically for the coal traffic from Wath Yards to Penniston and Woodhead and saw electric and diesel traction after steam, including an occasional 350 horsepower 08. This is D4031, allocated to Tinsley. Now that's uh, Glasshouse Crossing, of course. Yeah. And we've got train going through in 1981. On the right is Glasshouse Crossing Box. Now that, John, is Woodbury Bridge Crossing, and that building's gone. That dark red thing there is gone. Is it? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because when I did that image, yeah. that building overlaid perfectly onto the building that is there now. Yeah, Almost yeah. like the bit at the back is an extension yeah. onto it. Yeah. So I was curious. And this is train coming up, uh, up through Woodbury Bridge. Yeah. On the left-hand side is Wurzburgh Bridge crossing box. And that, of course, is 1959. Uh, you see, John, look at it, that building there, do you see it then? Yeah, yeah. Gone, yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot changed, is it? Look at this. Yeah. Now then, this is what uh, I want you to tell, tell you about, this, this locomotive. I got this photo, this black and white photo, which you've 
turn it into colour, turn it into colour, on it going past what we used to call Iron Bridge down here. And it's amazing because uh, this was, it was always a goods line and I was intrigued. I asked Chris up market, he used to have a stall up market, bygone Barnsley. Yeah. And I was amazed. Uh, and so I sent word out on Facebook. A lad called Brian Dolan said it was a South Yorkshire rail tour. Locomotive number is 26013. And... Uh, it was a special trip. I thought it was a club trip, what, what Barra used to have, but Barra always had a steam local. So it's intriguing, this. As I said, it was a special rail trip uh, on Sunday, 7th of June, 1953, five days after coronation, Queen Elizabeth's coronation. And uh, 26013, that, that thing, it was a that local, local number, it was organised by the Sheffield branch of RCTS, that's Railway Correspondence and Travel Society, a special train. And if you followed it through now, I've got it further on, later on, I've got, I've got film, I've got it, I've got it further up line. Unbelievable. The train had previously traversed the Wath to Penistone route, normally freight only, and is seen near Silkston. Resuming our journey to Peniston on the 3rd of September 1966 behind E26021. At this time she was only vacuum brake fitted, but would later become fitted for multiple working with air brakes. She survived right to the end of the EM1s on the Woodhead route in July 1981. So where did the line go then, Dave? The actual line went from Wathon Dern uh, uh, through to Warrington, uh, a power station called Fiddler's Ferry. Fiddler's Ferry, and that's where all coal went. B busy, busy. Now then, we're moving on here. This is, uh, this is Kendall Green, of course. And that's train going through Kendall Green, 1981. Another small crossing box. This one is Kendall Green Crossing. Again, that's Kendall Green. This car here that's parked up there uh -huh. is also on Google Maps. Oh, is it? Right? So yeah. I must have been there that day yeah. when, when the car came past. Although I'm not on, I, I've looked up and down that road and I'm not there, so I must have, uh -huh. I must have walked somewhere else. Now, that, that's your drone shot, of yes. course, Kendall Green. And then I took Wayne uh, down to. Uh, see this old film on gates being shut. Although the one in 40 was the steepest part of the incline from Woonwell Junction to Barnsley Junction, Peniston, the seven and a half mile line included stretches of one in 100 and one in 136 before this. A one in 106 section was at Kendall Crossing. Two EM1s descend after a banking duty. Right, so when we are then where that tree is there, that was roughly yep. that was roughly signal box and line went through there, through that bit there. Yep. So that bloke shutting uh, actual railway crossing gates, he starts there, shuts them there and train comes this way. Right, right, yeah. So we think we're in actual Prince Albert, what in them trees there, yeah. I'm just, yeah. uh, we reckon. Uh, it's on 1842 map, but not on 1892. So right. we reckon there's no shaft, so I'll take it, it was a day wheel or drift, yeah. what went down to Bardley Seam. Uh, just some kind of drift. Well, what, what, what they used to call a, a day wheel, ah. day old, yeah. to drift down to, and Bardley Bay wouldn't have been far. No. Bear in mind, outcrops at Stainborough, so. Under that's foot. It. Uh, well, it's that, yeah, uh, as I say. But this was a bad area, as I know, with reserv reservoir being ah, over there. Ah. Swamp flooded. Walking. 1956 pit, Hungarians. Ah. 
what they opened at Kendall Green here, that flooded. He went down to swallow up see him and it flooded. So, oh, yeah. Way, this is Owned Hill Bridge. And of course, train in 1981 came this way. And you can see. Yeah, that's the bridge. Yeah, and it's, well, it's, it's stonework, it's magnificent. Yeah. Even though it was all just a goods line, you know. That, this, oh. is where, this is where John's photo interlinks with then and now. I don't think they'd get a double track through that bridge, would they? Mm. Looking at no, like looking at it mm. from here. You know, it's gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it did. Oh, I did. Oh, off, I know it did. They'll see how old film on it. Uh, and it, it, through, and through. it worked. Uh, yeah. Right John, this is a, a series of photos, about 10 or 11, 12, I think it's 12 actually, yeah. of what you've just done for me. Uh, these are 100 years old now. This first, this first photo, obviously, wharfing, wharfing, so yeah. that's West Street, obviously, isn't it? So, uh, it's the old industry at back, yeah. uh, Furnish Yard at back, yeah. yeah. That's where the iron works was. And that is uh, Woodsborough Park Terrace. That were at top at uh, Ilia, Woodsborough Park Terrace. I was there last night. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's that's Barracoking plant. Yep. Now, there's a pub coming up here, you know, White Bear. We were this White Bear. Do you know, I don't know. I only yeah. saw... White Bear. I only saw the, the DVD last night. Right. Uh, and I've put some of these pictures on Facebook this morning. People are asking me. So I've, I've had to quickly try and sort of... <laughs> well, perhaps somebody will be able to tell us. I've no doubt. <laughs> Now, the next photo, this is Sodol. Now, a bloke's just come through on Facebook. They were at Topper Common. Yes. Woodsbury Common. I found it. Sodol, what a name. That's a right name, isn't it? Now, <laughs> then, we, we know where the that is. The contents of my wallet. That's, that's Woodsbury Bridge looking down hill. In 1930s, we looks on it. And, and now, that is uh, Ironworks, Woodsbury Ironworks, which, which were at the bottom of... You can just see the road there going up oh, right. into the village. Yeah, yeah. And that is... Uh, Barra Pit, it looks on it, Barra. Woodsborough Dale. Now, it's, I, I've seen lots of pictures of the ice tree and that was the first, when I got the DVD, that was the first time I'd seen that one. What's interesting, John, look at, look at tram lines, obviously, uh, uh, trams stopped in 1930, so that's, that predates 1930, and look at them cars, it looks like 1920s, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. What, what is, what's this bridge? That's a 40 steps, footbridge. 40 steps, that's up, uh, up Platts Common, is it, somewhere? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's about a quarter of a mile along from Duffcliffe Station. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know it, I know it. Now then, that, uh, that's Barry Coking Plant. In all its glory. That's Bank End. It is. You can tell, we, look, at, look at that. Uh, going on to White Cross. Where's that, John? That's the gatehouse uh, to Woodsborough. Oh, yeah. So if you were to go down here, you'd come to Woodsborough Park Terrace. It, it goes down, and Woodsborough Park Terrace was on the right, right oh, hand side. Oh, intriguing, marvellous. So, so just... in the moment, if you, if you look, if you just pause it again, mm -hmm. uh, so you see the windows and the two. The two side windows. If you go on to the next pro, uh, next picture, if it's yeah. in order, there you go. So there's your two windows, there's your thing. So if you pause it. What's that church here? Pause uh, it. Is that Edmunds? That's Woodsborough Village Church. Uh, 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 so this is, I believe this is Blacker Lane. Right. So that you come down and if you go right here, you go down Dark Lane, which brings you down to the bottom area where the Boatman's is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Wordsworth Park Terrace would have been in relation to that, would have been where it is there. So, that house mm. is sort of up there. In... Where's this, John? This is a nice photo. This, uh... this is Wordsworth Park Terrace. Look at the iron railings here. I would... <laughs> so, if you pause there, right, so that previous picture that we've just been looking at, mm. so, Blacker Lane goes up and round there, yeah, yeah, Dark yeah. Lane's off there, and that gatehouse is sort of behind the trees. just All gone, there. all yeah. gone, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if they oh, took railings for. Go. I wonder if they took railings for war, because that's what they did. Well, I went there last night to do a now and then photo, and mm. I, I couldn't find anything. I look, I look for walls. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I look for 
reference yeah. point. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Right, we need to stay afoot now, everybody, my favourite place. Uh, and that's Doncaster Road, uh, looking down Doncaster Road. Uh, uh, which view is that? It, uh, that's same, it's still same, yeah, yeah, yeah. going down Doncaster Road. Uh, that looks like Rotherham Road, or is it? No, th this is coming down, if you pause it. Yeah. Paul. Right, okay, so that was that was coming down Ardsley Hill. Yeah. But not not it, it curves at the bottom mm. before it goes to the roundabout. The old road yeah. that yeah. They, you know that they shut off. Mm. And that looks like Rotherham Road to me. No, that's uh Grange Lane. Oh, Grange Lane. Grange Lane. Going on to Rotherham Road, yeah. Black Bull's up right. Yeah. Mmm. It's good I have done this transition, you can see modern you know, modern uh, day things. Now that's Stairfoot Station, yeah. branch line, isn't it? Yes. Stairfoot. Yeah. We're going off right to Ullen Barnsley, that Ullen Barnsley Junction. Now that is, that, that's Black Bull. Yeah. So that's Rotherham Road. Yeah. And the policeman in the middle of the road. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it were Bill, Bill Harvey, my old mate. That's a, that's a lovely shot. Look at that yeah. loco there, coming out the corner. You don't always you don't always get to match them up perfectly, but no. When it works, it works. No, that's a nice drone shot, John. You told me that's on, that's uh, the old uh, Midland line, other side of uh, Stairfoot. Yes, Midland yeah, line. Yeah, that. Mm. As if you're going out towards uh, Cuddeth. Yeah. So just there mm. is is the viaduct. Yeah, that's map on it, look. Yeah. Yeah, that was LMS. That, that was five o'clock in the morning. What it? Yeah. Mm. Hence, you can see the shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm curious about this bridge, and there's another one up the trail. Yeah. Let's pause. Yeah. Them bridges and the one up there, a, a proper solid Victorian built. Well, they all were. Yeah, yeah. You could see it. But it's like they were built to take a, a railway line over the top of them. Yeah. But yeah. I've looked on all the old maps, and never ever has there been anything other than access for farmland and I thought uh, why had they built something so large and solid just for you know sort of cows and yeah, yeah, the cross yeah, over. Yeah. This is a nice transition John this is this is yours uh, look at that that's fantastic yeah, and you see old uh, old LMS viaduct at top I think I pulled pulled down about 1959 that went straight across I have straight across to Aldi. I, I, I have the vaguest of memories of remembering when that was still all there, yeah. I, I must yeah. have been sort of mm. four or five, and I was on a bus, mm. uh, and that's all I can remember. That uh, yeah. Now that we've got here, this is a this is a right film for you. Stairfoot Station in 1925. Look at this, it's fantastic. It's a uh, uh, it's Pathy News. Roy Kilner, this is him. Roy, Kilner, let me just tell you about him. He was a famous cricketer, professional, a big star at Wombwell. Uh, he played, he, he was an all-rounder, batsman, wicket-keeper, the lot, fielder, bowler, and this is him in, in Ashes in Australia. Uh, and this train, it shows you a train pulling to Stairfoot Station. That's where they were born, James Street at Low Valley. I'm sorry, he was born in George Street. George Street, Low Valley. He died young, 37. But this is, look at this train coming in here. This is so This is Stairfoot Station. This is Stairfoot Station. From Dove Cliff, if you picture it. Uh, right, so Barnsley would be sort of. Barnsley's like behind us. Right. Them chimneys at back, there were a lot of what, tire works and pits, uh, there were new oaks there. So Tesco's, if you like, is on right. That's how it worked. It come from Duff Cliff, this train. Yeah. Marvellous film. This is him returning from Australia. In 1925. Marvellous film, that, isn't it? Fantastic, isn't it? It's, it's very good quality, isn't it? It is. It, it's bad news. Tell you, he, he was a famous fella. Uh, 
in uh, one world, well, in, in, in Yorkshire, he fought it First World War, uh, you know, that scene with his family. I mean, you see a little lad posing for cameras, I mean, 1925, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. it's fantastic, isn't it? Beautiful film. Now what happened, uh, he died young, he, he died young, 37 years old, from, from typhoid. He went, he, he went on a trip to India and it's believed uh, he, he became unwell uh, after eating oysters on ship at Marseilles. Right. Uh, oysters and he, he passed away in all places, Kendry Hospital. He went to hospital in Southampton but he wanted to see his, uh, his wife who we can see here. Uh, and uh, what we've got here is a lovely film at Funeral. Uh, next film coming up is 100,000 went to a funeral. All streets were packed with mourners. Uh, many come from outside of town. 100,000. That is a lot. Yeah. That, that and there's a lovely quote from Rector here. You'll see it in a minute. He says, A Yorkshire wicket has fallen and one of Yorkshire's best men is out. We lament his loss not merely because it's the loss of a cricketer, but because it's the loss of such a cricketer. That's his grave, John, in uh, Wumwell uh, Cemetery. Look, the heroic hill there. Look, is, that's his quote, look on Pathy News. Ah, yeah. A wicked has fallen, one of Yorkshire's best men is out. <laughs> and again, it's a lovely little film, this uh, Pathy News. 100,000 mourners. 100,000. You see tram lines, John. And you, you, uh, back, you see a tram. There, yeah, look. Yeah. And that's Erst, that's Funeral Erst coming into it. Uh, Church at Wumble. That's marvellous, isn't it? 100,000, it takes some believing, doesn't it? Look at him. Do you think cricket was taken more seriously back then? Yeah, well, it, and that's why the working classes, the yeah, working classes loved it, didn't they? You know, then they're all were hard working them pits. But that's your lot, and you know, uh, thanks for coming, John and yeah. Davey, and our cameraman. So we'll see you again someday. Thank you. I'd like to get me hands upon the fat. All fogged up the stiff foot round about. I always drop on leeks at red them green and must have fused There's a bus lane down the middle that's never ever used So I'd love to go and sort that plonker out That dreamt took that stair foot round about I once set off to see me Uncle Ronnie He lives on the outskirts of Johnny I set off down through the town He was suffering from the flu Got down to the Ashfield Where I joined a great big queue At last I got to Uncle Ronnie Ooh, that's him